It's clear in the lower mainland, kind of nice as well. And uh, at higher elevations, Michelle, completely clear on the mountains. Let's have a look at your snow report brought to you by Worcester Blackcomb. We're not quite going to the Arctic Circle, but you might think you are. Look at that temperature at the Alpine elevation, minus 24 and clear. The wind is blowing over the peak of Worcester and Blackcomb right now. There's no new snow in the forecast. That's cold enough to keep making snow. So the conditions will stay very frigid and crystal clear on the slopes of Worcester and Blackcomb today and tomorrow. Thursday, likely into Friday as well. It's sunny every single day this week. The snow not necessarily softening up because it's cold at all elevations. There's no inversion layer in place this time around. Look at Seymour's temperature this morning. Minus nine. A few clouds backing up from some of the eastern areas and parts of the Fraser Valley. Don't suspect you'll get any snowflakes during the day today. 147 centimeters your current snowpack. It's even colder under a clear sky for Cyprus. Minus 11 right now. That wind is blowing down from due north. It's going to put a chill in the air for sure. So layer up and definitely have your face protected against you know, possible frostbite conditions on the local hills even. Grouse Mountain right now mostly clear and minus 11 with no new snow in your forecast but I saw the snow blowers working overtime yesterday and they'll continue to do so with those temperatures in your forecast. Here's the Metro Vancouver outlook barely up to plus two today and then essentially frigid for several days in a row with sub-zero temperatures minus eight to minus ten and midday highs around zero in the sunshine. We'll start to shake it up around the midpoint of the weekend as clouds roll in and then there's an increasing chance of snowfall in your forecast. That's more likely for Sunday and Monday. Riaz, how are you doing this morning? Well